Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to solve the problem Excel sheet part 1. So given a positive integer n, you have to return its corresponding column title as it would appear in an Excel sheet. For n equal to 1 you have a, for 27 you have double a and so on. Ok, let's try to take an example to understand this. Before we do that, let's look at something which is called binary representation. Because once we understand this, solving this problem will become easy. Let's say you have 1011. What does this number represent actually? How do we find it out? So we take 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3 and then we multiply it with these values and we will be able to get the number. So for example, uh, 1 into 2 power 0 is 1 into 1, right? So it is 1 and then 1 into 2 power 1 is 2 and then 0 into 2 power 2 is 0. 1 into 2 power uh, 3 is 8. So when you add 8 plus 2 plus 1, you get 11. So the binary representation of 11 is 1011. And this is how you get 11. Now instead of this, suppose we were given 11 and you have to find its binary representation. How do we do that? So the simple uh, trick or approach is take 11 modulo 2. What is 11 modulo 2? 11 modulo 2 is 1, right? So we have 1. Then divide 11 by 2. You have 5 take 5 modulo 2 what is 5 modulo 2 5 modulo 2 is again 1 now divide 5 by 2 once you divide 5 by 2 you have 2 okay now take 2 modulo 2 2 modulo 2 is 0 okay. now you divide 2 by 2 so divide 2 by 2 you have 1 okay. now you take 1 modulo 2 you have 1 now you divide 1 by 2 okay after this you have 0 so you can see that we have built up the binary representation 1011 okay so uh, this is, approach is going to be very useful to solve because you have the same thing just like you had in binary representation right we have the same thing here now let us see how do we write it in excel column right so it is just similar you have let's say 26 power 0 into 10 plus you have 26 power 1 into let's say 15 plus you have 26 power 2 into 18 something like this so what is the actual uh, value of this so you have 10 right so 10 means j so the last digit is j next you have 26 power 1 into 15 so 15 corresponds to o so the second last is o then you have 18 18 corresponds to r so you have r so the representation of this corresponds to r o j now if you want to uh, extract ROJ information from this representation how are we going to do we are going to follow the same method first we are going to take modulo of this with 26 why because see uh, these are all multiples of 26 so if you take modulo of this with 26 this will give you 0 if you take modulo of this with 26 this will also give you 0 only this will extract and if you take modulo of this with 26 this will give you 10 so you can easily extract the last digit so this is why we are taking modulo with 26 so if you uh, want to extract the last digit easily you can get that information so if you take modulo with 26 you will get 10 and 10 corresponds to j okay so once you have extracted the last digit now you want to extract the remaining digits okay we have the last digit now to get the remaining digits what are you going to do so this was your n now you will divide n by 26 why because if you divide n by 26 this will vanish away because 10 by 26 is 0 right it's just 0 uh, so this will vanish away so this information will go and all these will get shifted everything gets shifted by 1 so here if you divide by 26 this will just become 26 power 1 into 18 this will just become 26 power 0 into 15 and this will just become 0 so this is your new n okay this is the new n that you have now to extract the digit again what you are going to do you are going to take modulo with 26 so that you can extract the next digit so if you take modulo with 26 this is a multiple of 26 right this will not give any information this will just give 0 but this will give reminder and it will give 15 as the reminder so from 15 you can extract O okay solve the uh, solve two two digits now let's uh, get the last digit also again you are going to follow the same method what is your new n just divide the original n by 26 so what will happen this will get shifted by 1 so this will become 26 power 0 into 18 this will get shifted and this will become equal to 0 so what you have and now if you take modulo with 26 you just have 26 power 0 into 18 right 
so if you take modulo with 26 you will just get 18 and what is 18 18 is r so you can extract that information and what are you going to do next time so next time you are going to again divide by 26 this number will become equal to 0 even this will get extracted and it will become 0 so you have j o r but you have in reverse order so you have to write it as r o j okay now there is only one small thing here okay and what is that see uh, the logic approach everything is correct only one small thing and what is that <laughs> see uh, let's say you have 26 plus 26 power 1 plus 26 power 2 okay and let's say uh, so this 26 power 0 okay this 26 power 1 this is power 2 so if if you have the last digit as z right in that case what will happen in that case here you will have 26 okay here let's say you have some other digit let's say you have 1 here let's say you have 10 something so what is this number so this is 26 power 0 into 26 right so this is z this this is a and this is uh, j now this trick will not work when you have z what we just discussed will not work when you have z because if you are going to take modulo with 26 right what is happening everything is a multiple of 26 because unfortunately in the last also you have a 26 so everything will give zero so how are you going to extract the information that you have z so this is the trick if you take modulo with 26 and if you get a zero that means what if you get a zero that means you have a z this is the important thing you have the last digit as z okay because it will not leave any reminder only when the last digit is 26 and that is that means z okay and once you have this right now if you divide n by 26 okay what will happen this will become 26 power 1 into 10 this will become 26 power 0 into 1 and this if you divide by 26 what will happen here also you will get a 1 in earlier cases whenever we are dividing right we were getting a 0 okay you are getting a 0 whenever you are dividing the reminder by 26 you are getting a 0 but here if you divide this by 26 you will get a 1 so this is very important you don't want this 1 because you want to extract the next digit you want to extract the information of the next digits but if you have a 1 remaining how can you extract it so whenever you have 1 you have to subtract this 1 also okay that's it that's a very important thing that you have to remember whenever you have z you will get 0 as the reminder because everything will be a multiple of 26 also one more thing so if you divide n by 26 simply it will not work because you will have 1 coming from the z also so you have to do n by 26 minus 1 okay that is the important thing now let's go forward to coding it so uh, let's start so while n okay is still greater than equal to 0 sorry just greater than zero if it becomes equal to zero this will exit the loop uh, you have to keep running the loop okay now let me take a string answer and let us uh, so we will finally return answer now let us start so what are we going to do we are going to take n mod 26 so what is it this is our reminder this will give us the information okay so we have two cases first case is if reminder is equal to zero that means what you have a z right you have a z so okay so what will uh, your answer become you have a z right so answer is equal to z plus answer so uh, because uh, why am i doing answer equal to z plus answer because see um, whenever we extract the information right here uh, you will get first time you will get z then you will get a then you will get a j so what what i should do suppose you have answer right so to the front of answer i will add z so answer becomes z okay then to the front of answer i will add a so answer becomes a z then to the front of answer i will add j so it becomes j a z so i am not pushing it to back side rather i am pushing the characters to the front so that i directly get my answer as discussed okay so that is a simple trick so i am just adding the character in the front of answer so that i do not have to reverse it at the end okay this is a simple trick that i am doing now if the reminder is zero we know that it is answer also instead of doing n equal to n by 26 simply you also have to subtract by one because you get an additional one okay that's it else what else it is very simple now see uh, else um, see you will have some reminder now what is that reminder uh, let's say okay let's say your reminder is equal to one in that case you have a okay 
if your remainder is equal to um, 2 in that case you have b if your remainder is uh, equal to let's say 10 in that case you have j okay and so on so uh, how do we uh, write this character so what you can do is see you can take uh, a right so if your remainder is 1 that means uh, you have to add um, uh, to a you have to add 0 because you already have a so what we are going to do see uh, if your uh, remainder is whatever is your reminder just take minus 1 and then add a to that so that will give you the corresponding character so why am i doing this c if my reminder is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 0 plus a will give me a right the ascii value of a is 65 so it will give me 65 65 means a if my reminder is okay if my reminder is see if my reminder is let's say uh, 2 so if i do 2 minus 1 right so this will give me 1 and if you take the ascii value of a plus 1 this will give me b so i i have to also consider this case i have to uh, subtract 1 okay because uh, because of this logic that we just discussed okay let's take one more example if my reminder is 10 right if my reminder is 10 that means it corresponds to j so what i am doing so i am taking a and if my reminder is 10 so 10 minus 1 will be 9 right so if i do the ascii value of uh, a right uh, a is 65 to 65 if i add 9 i will get the ascii value of j so this is very important that we uh, take this okay now after this what we have to do very simple so n is equal to n by 26 that's it now let's run and see if it's going to work so okay so i have forgotten to um, uh, append the answer here so let me also just quickly append answer here so answer is equal to c plus answer okay, that's it so let's compile and see if it's working now so it's working let's submit and see it's working thank you for being patient and